Welcome back to Bitsby Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Over the past week, I've been heads down processing all that was able to be consumed while attending at TruffleCon 2019. The conference was held at Microsoft's Redmond campus with the majority of the events, talks, and networking occurring in Building 33, a really nice conference room that was on premise. While I was there, I was trying to catch up on enhancements with the Truffle Suite software since visiting the Truffle team at ETH DevCon in Prague. I was also there to speak on behalf of my career position as a senior solution architect with General Dynamics. My talk was focused on getting software and applications delivered to a production environment with the focus primarily being on the customer interactions associated with an agile process. And really why it's absolutely imperative to include the end user as part of the development process. Most requirements come from a business decision. So strategically, they have an overall theme and purpose. However, the devil's in the detail when it comes to building, iterating, and adjusting requirements that meet not only the intent, but gain the level of confidence in the individuals that will be actually using the software every day. So you may ask, why does this matter at a blockchain conference? My primary driver on the talk was to help communicate in the best way possible that when building applications, be them decentralized, federated, or centralized, the voice of the customer is a critical component to getting overall buy-in from your target audience. If they are genuinely part of that process, you can build confidence and quality in what you're building and the inertia that is created from those deliveries will help get the acceptance in the end. This point is a critical one for Ethereum and other decentralized dApps that our overall goal is to take on the world and change quote unquote everything. This needs to happen more in a tactical small deployment, engaging the target audience directly and over time iterating to fit the space that they are trying to disrupt through a real no kidding feedback loop with the end user. The success of that type of implementation will yield a great story over time and will have the foundation strong enough to scale up to more of an ambitious scope with the confidence of many behind you. Now, the overall session went great. There were a range of questions pertaining from approaches to gain approval for funding, such as strategy used for ROI, in addition to questions surrounding the most interesting blockchain-based use cases I have seen professionally. Once the final editing version of this comes out, I'll be sure that it gets posted and for all of you to see, so stay tuned for that. Now let's get real. Considering this channel primarily builds content around cryptocurrency mining through an observe and report approach, why would this type of content be on this channel? Much of the reasoning stems from many questions that I receive on the regular on what various cryptocurrency networks are actually good at, and given the massive investment that are poured into reinforcing the proof of work validation and node infrastructure, what is good of any of this if it's not you? Those are all valid questions. So a video like this is an attempt to explain there's actually a mountain of effort behind the tools, services, and development of the core protocols that we miners are holding up. The innovation is absolutely required to make the space approachable to the vast amount of developers in the world, and an event like TruffleCon sticks to the core of that approach, benefit, and process associated with development on Ethereum and other announced networks such as Quorum, Hyperledger, and R3 Corda at the event. The primary tool used within the Truffle Suite provide a development environment, testing framework, and asset pipeline for blockchains using Ethereum's virtual machine with the intention of making life easier for a developer. Truffle has Truffle University also to help new developers and existing developers get up to speed on the tools, including walkthroughs and the sample project. If you'd like to know more about those tools or how to get started, I've provided the links in the description below. Now, before this runs too much longer, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and follow on Twitter and Twitch for more up-to-date info and live streams that occur as often as I can get them out. If you like this particular type of content and want more of it, be vocal. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks and stay tuned.